What's up, bro, Chachos? It's boy Tanner Wyman of Barbarian Body. Today we've got for you a totally killer, total body home dumbbell only workout. We're hitting lower body, we're hitting core, we're hitting upper body. Let's get straight into this thing. Okay, just for reference, I'm personally gonna be using a pair of 25 pound dumbbells. You beginners, I'd recommend about 10 to 12, maybe 15 pounds. Intermediate between 15 to 20 pounds and then for you advanced guys, I'd recommend between 20 to 30 and maybe even 35 pounds. Depends on how hard you want to push it. So we're going to be getting with our first exercise here, we're going to be getting some dumbbell push-ups into the row. So you can get your dumbbells about shoulder width apart, get into push-up position, coming down as low as you can. You're going to want your feet actually separated so you get some balance when you're coming up. Up, row with the right arm, row with the left arm, and then back down. We got a total of 10 repetitions here. Ready, and go. So that's one rep on each arm here. Now what I want you to do is, as you come up and you bring that arm up, I want you to focus on bringing those dumbbells up towards where the hip is here. We're gonna hit the chest, we're gonna hit the upper back, rear delts, combination of that muscle group, sorry. Good, five halfway. Four more. Three. Two. Bring that towards the hip now. Last one. And good. Okay. Next exercise we got here is a dumbbell curl into an overhead press. So, how are we going to be doing this? Start with a neutral hand grip, so palms facing inwards. You're going to curl up. Transition, overhead press. We got a total of 10 repetitions, instantly going from one rep right into the other. Ready, and go. Get a nice squeeze of the biceps, press overhead. That's one, two, three. Now we're never just swinging those weights up. It's a bicep curl to get those weights up. Squeeze those biceps, good. Five, halfway. Four more, three, Woo. those shoulders are definitely going to be feeling it today. Two more, last one, and good, okay, next we got some jack presses, so same way you would with the jumping jack, you're going to be jumping out and then in, out and in, however, each time you're going to jump out, dumbbells up and then in, out, and then in. Again, we got a total of 10 repetitions here. I'm looking for speed. Ready, and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good. Okay, get rid of one of your dumbbells here. We're gonna get more of the lower body. We're getting our glutes and our hamstrings here. We got some dumbbell swings. So you're gonna grab it as such, feet about shoulder width apart. What you're doing is you're bending down, coming through the legs, swinging by thrusting the hips forward and squeezing the glutes. We got a total of 20 repetitions here. Ready, and go. So we're not trying to get it as high up as we possibly can. Rather, I'm looking for that snap there with the hips. Squeeze the glutes as soon as you get to this portion. Eight, nine, ten, that's it. Nine more. Eight, seven, six, five more. Push, four, always breathing. Three, get that snap still. Two more. Last one, and good. Whew. Okay, for our next lower body exercise. We got some lunge jumps. Grab your dumbbells. So, 10 total repetitions. When you have the dumbbells in hand, what we're gonna be doing, start with a bit of a stagger here, okay? You're gonna switch, bring that knee down. Doesn't need to touch the floor for these. Get as low as you possibly can. But I just don't want you slamming it off the floor because you got some dumbbells with you here. So you're gonna get from here, switch, to switch. We got 10 repetitions. So that's five on each leg. Let's get this one. Ready, and go. 
Getting that knee down as low as you can. Two, three, four, five. Always preventing that knee from slamming the ground. Two more. Last one. And good. Okay. Terrific. Next, dumbbell front squats. So you're going to hold the dumbbells out in front. Feet shoulder width apart. Coming down nice and low. And then right back up. We got a total of 15 repetitions. Getting those feet aligned properly. Dumbbells up. Ready. And go. Driving for those heels. So I want you to stick your butt out at the bottom there. Keep a nice straight back. Six, seven, eight, top way. Nine, ten, five more. Four, three, two more. One more, and good. All right, hitting the deck. We're getting the triceps here. Facing upwards, we're gonna be getting some lying tricep extensions. So, you're gonna grab the dumbbells. I like to position them right by the head, and you're gonna stand them up here. So, keep your elbows nice and tight. I don't want them flaring out. All you're gonna do is simply get an extension there. Bring them down, let them touch the shoulders, and extend again. We got a total of 15 repetitions. Let's get this one. Ready, and go. Coming down nice and slowly. Milking that, that's called the negative portion of the lift, or of the movement, sorry. Also known as the eccentric portion. That's it, 10 more. Squeeze them with those triceps. Eight, seven. Keep those elbows tight, try not to let them flare out. Six, five, four, three, two more. Last one, nice and slow, and explosively up. Good work. Okay, for our ab exercise here, core. We're gonna be getting some Russian twists. Now, if you can't do it with the dumbbell, simply just do it with your body weight. So, you're gonna hold the dumbbell up, chest level, bring those feet off the ground, and what we're doing here is just getting rotations, side to side of the trunk. We got a total of 20 repetitions, so it'll be 10 to the left, 10 to the right, if you can't get the feet up, you can just keep them positioned on the ground and then operate from there. I myself, bringing those feet up. So we got 20 total, 10 on each side. Ready, and go. And what we're focusing on here is flexing those obliques, using those obliques, eight, to rotate the trunk there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more, and good. Woo, okay, last exercise we got here. You won't need the dumbbells at all. We're gonna be getting good old jackknife. It's gonna hit the upper and the lower portion of the abdominals. So your arms gonna be all the way out. What you're doing is bringing the feet up, raising, and reaching the toes there. For 20 total repetitions as a finish. It's cardiovascular demanding, your core is gonna be toes too. Let's get this one, ready? And go. Bring those feet down. They never actually touch the ground though. They're always up. Reach for those toes at the top there. Five, six, seven. This might be the one where you need to take a little bit of a breather. Nine, ten, halfway. Woo. I'm feeling it already. Push. Eight. Seven, reach for those toes. Six, push. Five, maintaining your breathing. Four, that's it. Three, two more. Last one, and good. Woo, that core will always burn. Something fierce from the good old jackknives. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, hold the phone before I get into that. Congratulations on completing the first round. You guys did an amazing job. If you want to push the body, try two rounds. I think you're really crazy. I really want to push your body to the next level. Then I dare you to try this routine three times. Repeat the video three total times. On that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, 
Be sure to give your boy a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thanks so much for joining me guys on another killer home workout. See you in the next one.